you're considered a, an expert in the field, a, 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 a master when it comes to entrepreneurship. How many entrepreneurs would you say that you have interviewed or had the opportunity to have deep dive conversations with over the years? And I ask you this because much of the audience that watches Power Move Makers are either entrepreneurs themselves or they're aspiring to be entrepreneurs. So I just want to establish credibility credibility out the gate. Well, I mean, I'm known as the, the success expert on social media in part because I've been a student of success, um, largely because of the decades I spent at Black Enterprise. But even I used to be a senior editor at Modern Black Men magazine, which was a more of a GQ type fashion lifestyle magazine. But again, I interviewed Miles Davis. I did one of the early interviews of Michael Jordan before he blew up for that magazine. I interviewed Spike Lee. Dave Winfield was my first cover story ever in my history, um, as in my career. So, so what I figured out over the decades is that I've been blessed to, like you said, really have deep dive conversations with some of the most successful people, certainly the most successful black people in every arena in every industry in a way that most people don't get that kind of access, you know, and, and as a result, and, and, and add to that, I minored in the economics in college, never thought I'd use it. But it, when I got the black enterprise, it was perfect. So that shows how kind of God lines you up for stuff. You don't even know what you're being lined up for. Um, and I became an expert on the banking industry because when I first came to Black Enterprise, it was during the whole um, um, savings and loan crisis, and I got assigned to understand that. Um, I learned, learned about leverage buyouts because of the Reginald Lewis story. Now, this is someone, I didn't even study journalism in college, much less business. But I got this deep dive education from the people who are doing it, not from a professor in a classroom. But, you know, I interviewed Reginald Lewis. Every interview he did until he passed away, I got the assignment. In fact, he got to a point where he didn't, he didn't want to talk to anybody but me because he was used to me, you know, at Black, when Black Enterprise had to do a story. So all of that expertise, personal financial management expertise, entrepreneurial expertise, corporate leadership expertise, I've learned from the best. I learned from Ken Chenault. I learned from, you know, I'm not imagining it. The people who had to do it are telling me, well, this is what you got to do. And this is what you got to, you know, this is what you got to know. And this is what you got to learn. And, 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 you know, I, I teach a, a monthly master class in Newark at Third Space Coworking called uh, Destination Success. And it's the culmination of all of that expertise, all of those experiences, uh, all of those interviews and on stage interviews. I've interviewed um, Don Peoples, the, the commercial real estate magnet twice um, you're at Black Enterprise events. Um, T.D. Jakes, I've done both behind the scenes and on stage interviews about how do you do what you're doing. And then my job as a black enterprise um, editor, journalist, executive is to distill that and then pass it along. You know, I tell people about the miracle of the fish and the loaves in the Bible wouldn't have happened if nobody shared it. You feed, you could feed thousands of people and still not go hungry if you shared the knowledge and share the wisdom. And so all of that has, you know, over the, over the decades has positioned me to really be a, 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 you know, a resource, a teacher, a, a, you know, expert is almost an overused term, but an expert um, to feed and mentor other people. So, you know, everybody who knows me on social media knows my favorite hashtag is my mentees are better than yours. I got, you know, hundreds now, because I started getting serious about mentorship when I was in my 20s, because I felt like I didn't have enough mentors myself, of, of young people who are now successful entrepreneurs and executives themselves, who I took what I learned at Black Enterprise and said, you're trying to get that business off the ground? Let me tell you what I learned from Kathy Hughes. Um, you're, trying to, you're trying to do, you're trying to you know, break into the financial services career? Let me tell you what I learned from Bill Lewis at, at, you know, on Wall Street about how to do this. And so I became a vessel to take this expertise and feed it to other people. And so, you know, Mr. Graves used to have a saying that if we weren't telling people how to do it, we weren't doing our jobs. Like it's not just about showing the big house and showing the big car and showing how people are balling. If you're showing them all that stuff, but you're not showing them how to do it, how are you helping? Correct. 
you know. And so, so I, I really spent my, you know, my mission when I, look, when I try to connect all the dots of what I do is to teach people how to be successful. And for me, that's four areas. It's business and finance. It's health and fitness. It's mental health, because I'm a big champion of mental health. Yep. And it's relationship health, which me and my wife do through our Grown Zone platform. That if you don't take care of those four pillars, no matter how much money you got, no matter how handsome you are, how beautiful you are, or how banging your body is, or how, you know, what prominent family you came from, if you don't take care of those four things, you're not going to succeed in the long run. And so, so, so I spend most of my time, my goal is to spend all of my time doing something that channels into that, you know, to that expertise. And when I want to, when I want to point to my expertise, I don't point to degrees. I don't point to books I've written. I point to the people I've mentored, like Gwen Jameer of Naturalicious or Joshua Esnard of The Cut Buddy. Or, you know, and I could go on and name other prominent entrepreneurs who I met when they were on, the, you know, on the earlier path of their journey who took my advice. And now, you know, they're more celebrities than I am, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but my thing is, no, I'm feeding what I know to these other people. And my resume is not credentials. It's people. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.